so <laughs> wow my camera is back in commission and so you're you're wondering Asha where you going you're in your car <laughs> and you usually vlog in your car going somewhere well yes I'm in New York and I'm currently currently heading to Toronto and so I'm going to Toronto it's Caribano weekend it's going to be a fun fun weekend I'm actually picking up Q1 down here in the city waiting for him to come out so after he gets out then we're gonna get on the 8 hour drive to Toronto so we'll see you in a bit all right so I am in the city waiting for Q1 literally so again it's gonna take eight hours and we Again, should probably be in Toronto by midnight. The lo obviously, the longer it takes to come out, the longer it's gonna take for us to get there. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be eight-hour drive right here in Manhattan, the city I, I honestly never really thought about because I live here. Um, but yeah, heading to Toronto right now. So it seems like every time we go to Canada, there's always something, right? Always something. So driving on the road in Pennsylvania um, right now. So we were literally over here, literally over here on the highway. It seemed like there's an accident right over there, but oh crap, hopefully he's not blocking off the road. But instead of them instructing the traffic, which is now blocked up all the way over there to come around, no one is doing it so hopefully Kiwan and I get out of here he went in to get something to um to drink because we don't need him to block the traffic but n none of the cops are literally in directing the traffic to come around the block up but yeah we are right now six hours away five hours and 30 minutes we were in traffic for about 30 minutes not knowing that we could have gotten off here but hopefully whomever it is over there their life is spared on our way on the road again Canada faithful Jeep bring us again to Toronto thank you Jeep finally it's now 1 30 and we made it to Toronto Kiwan how was the drive well, I can't. amazing you can't it was see here. Actually, we, we could have done this in um, seven hours. But as I as you guys have heard, a few things has happened. Here we're in Canada. Let's see what this weekend is gonna bring. It's Caribano weekend, and it's going to be a phenomenal one. <laughs> Joe, we know who you are. We know who you are. Well, look. Because <laughs> what happened? Why are you talking to one like that? Let's go, family. <laughs> Welcome to Toronto, Canada. Toronto. To Toronto, Canada. Toronto. Toronto. To Toronto. To Toronto. To how you you can't say Toronto. It's Tr Toronto. 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 You're from Toronto. We're the six. We're the six. We don't say, do we say six, though? I don't know if we say that, so. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's old. That's what drink. Maybe. Uh, we just made it to the Airbnb. Y'all saw Matthew over here. Matthew was such a gracious, a good friend. And he, he came here, and honestly, if he wasn't here, we were probably lost. <laughs> Matthew, you know, he, he, he came, he dropped us to the parking garage, and he brought us up here, all of that. Um, Kiwan is here, Giovanni's here, he did not consent to his image, so we, we are not showing him <laughs> in these vlogs. But nonetheless, so guys, we are gonna try to or figure out our sleeping arrangements. Let's figure it out. I'm on the bed. <laughs> Boom, done. You want you have an extra shirt that you're not taking up? Well, Kiwan, since you are sick, then you could also take a bed. I I do. I, 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 
I do. Keyword, <laughs> <laughs> since you I'm are, Keyword, since you are sick, you are going to Gio. sleep with Gio. Yes. I am not. Catching um, that. Giovanni <laughs> brought Giovanni brought a um air mattress. I will sleep on the air mattress. I have no issues with that. Sometimes you gotta be flexible, we'll right? That's 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 part of life, Matthew, right? Being that's flexible. A, that's what makes a, a good Reliable trip. Reliable in the hands of God. Oh. That's right. Come on, man of God. Reliable in the hands of God. Flexible, malleable in the Ooh. hands of God. That's right. That's a word right there. So I'm going to be pliable, malleable, and flexible. And so I'll sleep on the air mattress. So listen, I haven't shown you guys the view of the apartment yet. Out. But can we talk about Kiwan a little though? Kiwan, Kiwan, you see him icing his foot down there? Kiwan, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the viewers what happened. Why you ran over my foot with the car? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't like the cup, right? Huh? Go no. Go. No. We're going to Egg Smart tomorrow morning. Um, but yes. So Kiwan is over here sick. His Let's foot is swollen. Um, but hopefully he's able to at least do the parade. Listen, I'm not hopeful. But God. <laughs> God, like I said, I believe in miracles. All I do, if he doesn't go, I'm going. So, what a good friend. <laughs> so I mean, and he money. I'm going. So, but we're gonna pray for Kiwan and I'll pray. stay right here. <laughs> we're gonna pray for Kiwan and hopefully his foot feel well. But yeah, we're in Toronto. We're in the Airbnb. I'll drop all the details for this particular Airbnb below, and tomorrow you will see a tour. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is the first full day here in Toronto, Canada. Obviously, I haven't freshened up, so you just woke up about a few minutes ago. I didn't show you the shots where I'm like, Isaac, let's, let's recreate that shot of how it would have been. Good morning, Toronto. So yeah, you saw Good the way. Good morning, Toronto. <laughs> yes, we are. We are here. Um, I'm gonna show you shots of the Airbnb after we clean up a little bit. Um, but we have the view of the CN Tower. You can't see it, but I'll go outside and get you a shot of the CN Tower. We are literally right in downtown, and. Um, that's where we are. So again, I'll put the information of the Airbnb below. We're about to figure out what we're going to do today. Um, but we will, so just follow us. I told you guys I'm gonna give you a tour of the Airbnb. Again, I couldn't give you a tour last night because we came in pretty late, the lighting was off. We were all tired, like literally we came in at 3 a.m. Um, yeah, well, no, at 1.30 actually, um, went to sleep at about 3 a.m. So I'm gonna give you a tour of how the Airbnb looks. Um, and maybe you will consider staying here. Um, and again, after we go out, I'll sh tell you how accessible it is to our <laughs> Obviously the bed has been slept on, but you saw me wake up this morning on the bed. But this is the Airbnb. It's a one bedroom apartment in downtown Toronto. Um, amazing views, um, breathtaking. Just, yeah, the highway's right there. Um, and I'm sure we are literally right next to the um, parade route. There's a little balcony outside, so let's go there. If you just want to sit out on the balcony, I'll show you that too. CN Tower is right in the back, right in the back. So beautiful view. You can sit out here on the balcony at night. Enjoy, I guess, the cool breeze of Toronto while you look at the CN Tower. So we're hoping to have a great trip. Yeah, let's go Toronto. Yeah, so. 
walk in well, we're trying to get breakfast now walk in to to a car to get i guess go park it then try to go to x mark mr man over here obviously is in pain <laughs> the the goal for today is literally to, i guess get kiwad some ibuprofen which we hope could solve his issue and of us are doctors he may have a larger issue than just ibuprofen what ibuprofen could solve but yeah me did not bring the an extra battery but we're going to X Mart like we were here when we came in the X Mart when we came over no, the winter near death experience near death experience so we're gonna go to X Mart again hopefully I have enough um, juice to show you guys a little bit of the um, I guess what they sell so first event of the Caravano weekend we're heading to Pana well Panorama and it is currently at Lamport Stadium. Um, I don't know if they started already, but that's where we're heading. We're heading inside, so let's see what we how it is. Let's go. Alright, so the event has just begun. So we're early, it's supposed to start at 6 o'clock. It just, just begun. The first performer is about to go on. So you'll see a lot of clips of different performers throughout the night. Yeah, panorama. Let's go. something to eat um, you know they take little intermissions in between um, so we're gonna check out this spot right here jerk jerk paradise um, what's a jerk I hate this place uh, so I obviously decided to rather than get the jerk stuff over here decided to stop by world famous spot Fried bacon sawfish. Let's get a trini at a pot. Let's go. Let's see how it is. Do you want what you got? Jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. From With where? Rice and peas. Rice and peas. The vlog. Pick up on the side. Pick up on the side. Look, look. Yeah, look at that. What's the name of your um, business? Jerk Paradise. Jerk. Jerk, jerk Paradise. Jerk Paradise. Where, 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 where is it? Where is it? We have a number on the big list. So jerk paradise. Check it out. That's Check what it out. One got. And again, I got the corn soup and the um, bacon sawfish. And yeah. But again, we are, we are at Caribana. The whole point of being at Caribana is to be influenced by Caribbean culture, food, music, and everything. And that's what we're doing this weekend. We're gonna only eating Caribbean food. Do you want? Well, Mr. X wants Korean barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the whole point right we're influenced by caribbean culture so we're gonna have a good time we're gonna go sit back inside and eat <laughs> Yet, 
streaming live because I'm sure they play some of the um, the more, more low key bands in the beginning. Um, so this is the second band to perform. And so let's see as the night progresses just how high the energy gets in the stadium. So yeah, we're, I'm still at Lamport Stadium for they call it Panel Live, but basically Panorama 2021. This bag, which is where I'm going to, this goes into this bag, and I guess I'll set it all up a little bit, where this is how I'm gonna stay hydrated, right? Um, so I wanted to get some libations for this bag, and so I just went out, and I went to the grocery store, Bought me two bottles of orange juice, lem lemonade. I'm, gonna, I'm not a mixologist, by the way. But what I do know is that maybe the peach nectar, which I've never seen peach nectar, could help me get some sort of drink up in here. Freezing that right now, and then a little bit later on, I hope right now it's about nine o'clock, but the goal is to get out of here by 12 o'clock which i think is a good time mm. so literally um and because q wanted them they didn't buy the bag i just got them these so hopefully they'll I don't know what you <laughs> they don't need to put anything in there they could put water in here but the whole point is you should stay hydrated I'm on this <laughs> You should stay hydrated on, if you're coming to Carabana because they are going to be selling um, drinks, maybe water, juice, soda, but obviously they're going to charge you a premium for everything. Probably even the flats that I'm going to try to get today, they're going to charge me a premium. But literally, let me show you guys 
down there is already um the traffic is already bad all right so i'm not sure if you're seeing yeah so right there generally used to be um there used to be no traffic there right now you see that's where all the cars are going because i'm assuming they blocked some street because literally we are right by the parade route or we're close enough to get on to the parade route and so when i was downstairs getting those things literally so as i told you we are by the parade route right and uh, literally so that's why the traffic is pretty bad here because if you notice over here I'm gonna zoom in for you. That's where the masqueraders are walking to try to get on to um, get in, get onto the route. So it seems like people are even parking in that parking lot over there, which I'm assuming they have charged them a good, pretty penny to park there. And so people have been dropping, like right down outside of my building. People have their people are drop dropping their um, friends, family off. And they're coming out to walk on to, I guess, meet their bands wherever they're, they're supposed to meet their bands. But I think eight, the 8 o'clock start time is when it does begin. But that's more so for those people who have to be in their bands by a certain time. My goal is to get there at about noon because I'm not, I'm not stayed on that uh, parade route for a whole eight hours. So I'm going to zoom in to show you like the people already starting to go on to the to um the route so this the all thing work out for good because we literally got this airbnb it was a last minute choice but apparently it probably was the best choice because we are closest to where we need to get to my battery died and so i obviously didn't show you the end it was pretty so they started late yesterday thank god we didn't get there for six o'clock as the ticket says we got there at about eight o'clock and they were literally about to begin they had about six bands that were performing the first two were first two or three were <laughs> honestly elementary school bands that i honestly don't think they should have put on the show but okay you know we we live in a world where we always want to be inclusive um don't cancel me for saying that statement i know we always want to be inclusive of everyone but i you know they were very boring and <laughs> for like the first hour i was literally in agony because the energy was low in the stadium i think everybody was feeling it because they just they they played well they played but the energy that you expect from from pet from bands they weren't bringing it which i get you know it was nice for like high school performances and all of that middle school performance cool but for a venue like that i don't think it was the best but by the time the last i think four came on now they started to bring the energy so literally the band that brought the most well the broad energy literally was what it was the first one that did it new dimension new dimension by the time they came on i so i'm saying i don't know if it's because we were just so deprived for the past hour or so that now when they literally did it we were kind of like yes finally the stadium wasn't an uproar right but they weren't the ones that won. Who won? Fantasy Steel Band. Pan Fantasy Steel Band won. Uh, but they were also pretty good, right? They, I think, they they kept uh, their performance was really in the pocket. They, you know, they they also performed Engine Room, and I don't think their energy was as high as um, New Dimension, but. You know, they had a, a really good arrangement and I think that's why they probably won. Um, the last band that performed, what was the name of that one? Afropan. Afropan. 
they seem to be the most decorated band um, but interestingly they were not the band that had the most energy and I don't know if it's because the song they played may not be a very familiar song and so on this year's playlist engine room is there so I know everybody know engine room because it probably was popular in Trinidad carnival and they probably so that's why I think all of them chose engine room the last song that new dimension played I honestly can't remember that song being <laughs> in on the playlist so um, maybe that's why they didn't win but you know they seem to have a lot of the right components which is probably why they won um, they've been winning pan events for years so yeah that was just a little update from pan alive so yeah I just mix the punch and I'm putting it in this contraption just gonna go in that bag and it's that bag that I'm going to walk with with me so yeah, Caribana Prep 2020.